Today we're talking EV and plug-in hybrid charging, more specifically home charging. Let's go through the different types of chargers. They're classified into three levels based on the amount of kilowatts they can deliver to the battery. Think of it like a hose filling up a swimming pool. The bigger the hose, the faster the pool will fill up. Level one chargers use a standard 110 volt outlet that you find throughout your home. These have the longest charge times, but allow you to use nearly any outlet for charging. Great when you're away for the weekend or have extra time for charging. Level two chargers use a 240 volt outlet, like an electric clothes dryer. This is the type of charger you'd have installed at home, and they make up the majority of public chargers. They can charge this Kia EV6 from 10% to 100% in a little over seven hours. DC fast chargers can deliver up to 350 kilowatts of power and can charge this Kia EV6 from 10% up to 80% in as little as 18 minutes. This type of charger is available at select public charging stations. A level two charger is what you'll want for home. You'll need to purchase a charging unit like this ChargePoint home charger from your local Kia dealer. The 240 volt power source needed for level two charging isn't something commonly found in most garages. So you'll need a licensed electrician to get your charging unit installed properly. You can use a site like Cumerit to find one near you. All in, you're looking at around $1,500 to $3,000 to get your home charger set up. Now let's talk about how you actually charge an EV or plug-in hybrid. Ensure the charge door is unlocked and opened. Remove the charge handle from the charger and connect it to the charging port. Then let it charge. In general, vehicles will have indicator lights to tell you what stage charging is at. As you can see here, this Nero EV is charging. And when the lights stay solid, it's complete. Charging at home also allows you to schedule charging for off-peak hours. These are times when overall electricity usage is lower, like in the middle of the night. Many utility companies offer lower rates for charging during off-peak hours. Thanks for learning more about chargers and home charging with me today. Check out the rest of my EV education series for more helpful info. Kia, movement that inspires.